Hey, I'm Norris, and welcome back to another solo. Long. Today, we'll be working on my latest pattern design for Simplicity, which is 9758, and we're gonna be working on View B, which is a short sleeve shirt. Now, don't you worry. If you're doing View A, I will be doing the order of construction when it comes to the placket and also the cuff. Now, if you're new to sewing, or it's just been a while, you can go to our online sewing design school, which is sewedacademy.com, get a refresh, come back, and sew along with me. Now, your fabric suggestions for this project will be a lightweight woven, pretty much anything without a stretch, and not too heavy. All other fabric suggestions and notions will be on the back of the envelope. All right, grab your fabric and all your supplies and let's get started. We're doing view B, which is the short sleeve shirt. Um, the long sleeve version is view A. I will show you once we get to the sleeve on the difference and how you can finish it. But for right now, we're gonna start off with the first order of construction. Um, now you're gonna need your front, which is pattern piece number one, and then your front patch pocket, which is pattern piece number two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the patch pocket and we're gonna turn down a quarter of an inch, just like that. Just turn it, turn it under, turn under that quarter inch. And then we're gonna flip down at the fold line. And then now we're just gonna head to the machine and we're going to stitch using five eighths of an inch seam allowance. We're gonna go down across the bottom and then up the other side. So let me go ahead and grab some pins. If you need pins, you can just pin it in place. Now let's head to the machine. Okay, so we're back for the machine. I'm gonna go ahead and trim these corners just a little bit like this. And now we're gonna turn this right side out. With that stitching we did across the bottom and sides, we're gonna use it as a guide. So we're just gonna fold in there and then across the bottom and then the other side, just like this, and give that a good press, come back and we'll continue. Okay, as you can see, I went ahead and pressed all the way around. And then now I'm just gonna flip this, and we're gonna feel for that fold underneath, and we're gonna top stitch to secure it. Okay. I got my pocket all prepped so I can place it in between my two markings here. I'm gonna pin it down. So now we're just gonna head to the machine. We're gonna edge stitch, starting on one side, across the bottom, then up the other side. Okay, so we have our pocket onto our left front. Now they're gonna move this to the side for right now and we're gonna start working on our back pieces. Now this is the back tab that go on your shirt. This is optional. Now if you don't want this, you can totally skip this step, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the longer ends and we're gonna fold it to the raw edge meets the center like this. Then we're gonna fold this one in like this. And once we have both of them in the middle, we're gonna do one more and just fold everything in half, just like that. Now, once you give it a good press, we're gonna add stitch along the top, and then we're gonna add stitch along the bottom, which is two rows of top stitching. Okay, so now we're gonna take our tab and there should be two dots. I'll put notches, uh, but there should be two dots where you match them up and we're going to pin. So head to your machine, go ahead and tack this down and we'll continue. Okay, so before we continue, now we're gonna work with our back yoke and our back. Now the back yoke is pattern piece number five. It says cut one, but I'm gonna cut two just to have a cleaner look on the inside, okay? 
So the first one, right size facing, you really can't tell um, because my fabric is almost the same on both sides. But right size should be facing. This is the right side of the front. This is the right side of my yoke. I'm gonna line that up. And then I'm gonna take my second piece. And this right here is gonna be right side touching the wrong side of my back. So I'm gonna put this on the bottom. So the back is gonna be sandwiched in between my yoke pieces. This is the right side of my yoke. This is the wrong side of my back. And this is the right side touching the right side of my back. So now we're gonna have them all three. And I'm going to pin all three together starting at my double notches. Okay, so now we're just gonna head to the machine and we're going to do a straight stitch all the way across using five eighths of an inch seam allowance. Do that, come back and we'll continue. Okay, so we're back from the machine. We have our two yokes. It's finished nice and clean on both sides, as you can see, and the seam allowance is in the middle. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm just going to pick up my top yoke and the one on the bottom, I'm gonna lay it flat. As you can see. So the one on the bottom is face down and we're only working on the top. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our front pieces and we're gonna pin them to the shoulders. And this is gonna be right sides facing. So I'm just gonna pin So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab my back and two fronts at the bottom and I'm gonna start rolling it up. Leaving that yoke at the bottom laying flat. Like this, okay. And then next, I'm going to take my shoulder from the yoke and match it up. And then we're gonna sandwich the front piece in between the two yokes. So I'm just gonna take my pins out and then repin all of them together, just like this. Then the same thing on this side. So now I'm gonna to head to the machine. I'm going to stitch both shoulders down using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Now you wanna stitch down the other shoulder the same exact way. Okay, we're back from the machine. And before we roll this out, I'm gonna go ahead and trim this seam allowance down to at least three eighths of an inch. Then now I'm just gonna roll this out. Okay. So now go ahead and press your shoulders so they can lay flat, press your seams. And then we're gonna put our shirt to the side for just a second, and we're going to work on our collar. So one should be interface. You wanna go ahead and put a basting stitch across the bottom of the interface one. And there should be some dots. I put notches because I do notches more than transferring dots sometimes. And then we're going to slash to our stitching, not through, but just to it. Okay, and then now we're going to trim that down to about three eighths of an inch. So I'm going to trim about a quarter of an inch off of it. So now we're going to head to your pressing table and we're just going to turn that up and just press it. Okay, so do that, come back and we'll continue. Okay, now that we've pressed this up, Moving right along, we're right sides facing. We're going to align these and we're gonna pin. I think I'm gonna pin from this side just so I can see it better. Just gonna stitch up one side across the top and then down the other side. Okay, so now that we stitched all the way around, let's do some under stitching. Now I'm going to take my seam allowance, so I won't, not this way, but we're gonna lay it this way. And then we're just going to get up under the machine. I went ahead and cut 
my, my corner here just to make it easier to fold. We're not going to be able to get all the way to the end, but you want to get as close as you can. Okay. And we're just going to stitch close to that seam. Okay. Back to the beginning, also at the end. Okay. To the other side. Okay, and then now across the top. And then once you feel like you can't get as far as you can, that's where you can stop. Okay, so we're back from the machine. I've already went ahead and clipped my corners, like I said, and then now I'm just going to just trim some of this seam allowance off. And then now we're just going to turn this right side out. Okay. Trim some of your threads from the understitching. Okay. Now go to your pressing table and give this a really good press. Okay, so I'm back from the pressing station. I went ahead and gave my collar a really good press. As you can see underneath, I did a little bit of understitching like we did at the machine. And then now I'm going to go ahead and pin this to the neckline of our shirt. So I'm going to bring this a little bit closer. And there should be a notch. And then also a small dot where the collar should stop. Like I said, I put notches in place of dots. So there go my notch right there. We're gonna pin that collar in place. The next, we're gonna match it up with that notch. And then this right here lines up. So now we're just going to head to the machine and we're going to base down the collar. So we're just going to base it down here and then once we get to where that clip is, we're going to make sure we don't have that interface top collar in the way and we're just going to base the bottom of it with the yoke, okay? And then across the other side. So we're just basically basing it down here, keeping the middle free. Okay, so we're just basing down that collar. So we get here, we're just gonna keep this free and continue. Okay, so we're back from the machine and we have the collar based onto our neckline. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab our facings. So a facing should be interfaced and along the unnotched side, you have a couple of options. You can turn under a quarter inch and then top stitch that down or you can just surge it off like I just did here or you can um, zigzag it just to clean up that raw edge. And then also at the top, you wanna go ahead and fold under a quarter inch. Now once you prep that, we're gonna go ahead and grab the front and then now we're going to keep the collar turned down like this and we're going to go ahead and pin our facing to the front. Now there should be a double notch here for you to pin and then now for the collar and that fold line should end right there with that where we slash that right here, as you can see, okay? Okay, so you wanna pin the other side the same exact way. And we're gonna start here. We're gonna back at the beginning using 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. We're gonna pivot at this corner and then go all the way down to the hem, okay? 
You want to pin your other side the same exact way. You want to sew your other face in the same exact way. Okay, so we're back from the machine, as you can see. And now we're just going to clip to our dot, basically right there where that original clip was. But now we're going to do it through all thicknesses, okay? Make sure you don't cut through your stitching. So right here. Okay. Just like that. And then the other side here okay just like that and now we're gonna trim just this portion right here down to about three-eighths of an inch okay and then that seam allowance is gonna get tucked up under here but for right now let's go ahead and continue clipping okay I'm gonna go ahead and Clip that corner. Now trim the remainder side and we're gonna continue. Okay, so now that we've trimmed both sides, we'll go ahead and turn our corners, press them out. Okay, so right here in the center, we're gonna take that seam allowance and we're gonna tuck it in between, just like that. And then now you can go ahead and you can just hand stitch this right here closed, okay? So go ahead and do a hand stitching. And also right here with the facing, you wanna go ahead and just tack down the end here so it won't move, and you wanna do the same thing to this side too. So go ahead and do that and we'll continue. Okay, I went ahead and did all my hand stitching. I did my tacks down right here, so this is tacked down to the shoulder, and then also I went ahead and closed out that opening here in the center. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab one of my sleeves. Since this is the front and this is the back, I need to grab my sleeve, we're gonna match up the single notch for the front, we're gonna pin. Okay, so now we're gonna head to the machine, we're gonna stitch, start on one end, and going all the way to the other end, using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. You want to attach your other sleeve and stitch it the same exact way. Okay, so we have our sleeves attached and I went ahead and pressed that seam and I finished my seam with a serge. You can use a zigzag stitch to clean off your raw edge. The next, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it wrong side out so we can go ahead and pin our side seam and under our sleeve. So you wanna line your seam right there on the arm first and pin. Then you should have a notch. There's a dot. I made a notch, but there's a dot right here. This is a slit. Um, so I'm gonna give you an option. If you don't want a slit, you can just go all the way down, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. So we're gonna start from here and we're gonna stitch all the way down until we get to our marking. We're gonna back stitch and cut our thread and we're gonna finish this off a little bit later. Um, but for right now, I want to show you how to finish off the long sleeve version. Now for the long sleeve version, I just took a piece of strap fabric um, just to show you. Now we're going to need your long sleeve version. It's the back. And then this right here is the front. The back has the slit closer to it. And then we're gonna need pattern piece number nine, which is here. And then we'll need the cuff a little bit later, which is pattern piece number 10. So I'm gonna put this to the side for right now. So what you wanna do first, you want to baste 
on your stitching line here. And there are three dots here. One here, one in the center, and then one there. So we're gonna be attaching this piece here to the bottom of the sleeve. But first, the side that doesn't have the markings, we're going to turn up a quarter inch, okay? So go ahead and give that a good press and we'll continue. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slash right in the center. Okay. And once again, as you can see, I've already put my basing stitch. If you didn't do that, you should have done it. And then we're going to pin the right side of the continuous lap to the wrong side of the sleeve. So I'm going to turn it down like this, and then we're going to pin. So you want your marking to touch right there in the center. All right. So before I turn down here, I want to stitch this down first, and then once I get to the machine, I can go ahead and adjust. Okay, so let's head to the machine and we'll continue. Okay, so I'm gonna stitch this so I can see my basic stitch as a guide. So I'm gonna start in the center and then work my way down. Okay, so now this side I'm gonna start from the hem of the sleeve and work my way up. And don't forget to follow, follow your guide. Okay, so now it's gonna look like this. And what we're gonna do is, so this right here is the wrong side. As you can see, we attach that to the back. Nice and finished underneath. This is what it should look like on the wrong side of your fabric. And then now, this is the right side, and we're now we're going to take that pressed edge and we're going to place it just over that seam, okay? And then now we're gonna pin. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna to head to the machine and I'm going to add stitch along that fold, making sure that that fold sits over that seam, okay? So let's head to the machine, okay? So now we're just gonna stitch right down the edge. Okay, so we're back from the machine, as you can see. We add stitched it pretty good. And then now, I just wanna let you know again, this is the back side of the sleeve and this is the front. So the front overlaps over the back just like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn this and then I'm going to fold, I'm going to make sure this right here is even. And then now I'm gonna to head to the machine and it's going to stitch diagonally across this corner right here. Okay, so now I'm just going to take it from the from that corner and then stitch diagonally. Okay, so we back from the machine and then now the front is gonna overlap like that. The next thing you have to do before we continue, we're going to go ahead and do our pleats. Now, there are, are pleats on both sides of the slit and we're going to do the pleat towards the slit. So we're going to turn that like that. I'm gonna pin. And then this side here is gonna go this way. You just wanna bring your markings together. Okay, so now that we have the pleats pinned, we're going to go ahead and base them down. And then we're gonna continue on with the order of construction and I'm going to continue with view B. And once we get to the cuff, I'll switch back to let you know how to complete your sleeve. Okay, so now I'm stitching down the side seam and under my arm. And we're using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, we got to our marking. 
And now you want to pin and stitch your other side the same exact way. And this go for both view A and view B. Okay, so I'm back from the machine. As you can see, went ahead and stitched on both sides. And we left the bottom open for our slits down here, if you decided to do that. So now what I'm gonna do real quick is just turn your right side out. And I'm gonna focus on one side because we're gonna start closing out the hem. So down here at the bottom, what I want you to do is we're gonna take our facing and we're going to fold it back onto the front. I'm gonna go ahead and just pin it in place for right now. And then I'm gonna grab a ruler and my marking and I'm going to measure the hem allowance. The hem allowance is an inch and a quarter. So I'm gonna measure down an inch and a quarter and I'm just going to put a marking just for a guide. Okay, just like that. You wanna do the other side the same way. And then now we're just gonna to head to the machine, stitch starting here and coming to the end of the facing right here. And you wanna back stitch at the beginning also at the end. Okay, so let's do some trimming. We back from the machine. So you wanna be at least five eighths of an inch away from the edge here. And then I say about a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch from the stitching. Trim to the corner. I'm gonna cut this little piece off. Okay. This is how this is how it should look. And then now I'm gonna turn it right side out. Point out my corner. Okay, so now to finish this off, we're going to turn under a quarter inch like this. And then after we turn a quarter inch, we want to make sure we are inch. Because the hem allowance is an inch and a quarter. So we turn under a quarter and then that's going to leave us with an inch. So let's go ahead and turn under and make sure we're at an inch after we turn under the quarter. Or if you want to make it even simpler on yourself, you can just surge that raw edge or zigzag that raw edge and just press it flat here. Your stitching would just be just a little bit higher because we have a quarter inch higher, okay? Um, so go ahead and press. And once you press it, you wanna go ahead and pin it in place. You wanna pin it kinda of like this on the right side, catching that fold underneath, okay? And we're gonna do that all the way down. Okay, so now I have my hem pressed and then also pinned. So now we're gonna head to the machine and we're going to stitch this down, making sure that we catch that fold underneath, okay? And then also for the back section too, because we it's not connected if you're doing the split on the sides, okay? So the same thing for the center back hem, turn it on the quarter inch and then making sure that the hem is an inch after you do that. Okay, so let's head to the machine and we can stitch this down. So you wanna back stitch at the beginning and also at the end. And now you wanna continue the rest of your hem the same exact way. Okay, as you can see, I went ahead and finished off my hem. Got a nice hem, I caught the fold underneath. And then now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna open up and we're going to finish off the side split. I'm going to slash up to my stitching, but not through it. Here up, I'm going to surge. And down here, I get to keep two separate seams. I get to keep it open. So what we're gonna do first, we're going to press that five eighths of an inch. And then we're just gonna turn under a quarter inch, just like this. And then after I press, I'm going to pin it in place.
Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to top stitch catching that fold underneath the same way we did the hem. So let me do this one more time. Okay, so we're going to start on one side, and then when we get here, we're going to pivot and then go down the other side. Okay, and now you want to pivot. And now you want to press and sew the other side the same exact way. Okay, so now I have my side splits done nice and neat. And then now I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side for just a moment and we're going to finish up view A sleeve. Okay, so you want to grab pattern piece number 10, which is your cuff. Now this should be interfaced and you should turn up the seam allowance on the bottom, the unnotched side. And then you just want to trim that down to about 3 eighths of an inch. Okay. And now we're right sides facing, 5 eighths of an inch should extend, and then we're going to pin. Okay, now just head to the machine. We're going to stitch this down using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, so now you just want to trim this down just a bit. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring that fold down to this fold, right sides facing. And you want that fold to go over to cover that seam just a little bit. Okay. And then we're just going to pin. Then you want to do the same thing to the other side. We're going to bring this side down. So now just head to the machine and we're going to stitch both sides down using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Come okay, back from the machine. I'm just going to trim this down a bit. And then we just turn it right side out. Point your corners out. And we're going to take that fold and we want it to be placed just over your seam. Then we're going to pin on one side, catching the fold underneath. And then the only thing left you have to do is just stitch in the ditch. So basically, you want your needle to go right in the center of that seam on the right side, catching the fold underneath. And the only thing left for your sleeve is to do your buttonhole and put your button on, okay? So this right here is for view A. Okay, last but not least, you want to use your buttonhole guide. Just place it onto your shirt on your left side and then mark your buttons. And then after you make your buttonholes, just you want to put your buttons on your right side and then finish off your hem allowance for your sleeve. You can serge all the way around or do a zigzag stitch and turn under one and a quarter inch and then top stitch or you can fold under a quarter inch and then fold under an inch and then top stitch there. They give you a cleaner hem, all right? So after you do all of that, you're all done. It's your first simplicity pattern under Norse Dent to Ford. Ooh. <laughs> Bye.